Whoa, there it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. Right there. There it is. Hi, Hello Geek in the Vlog here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, something a little bit different, not really earth shattering here, but um, seem to have a slow leak in one of the wheels on Jen's car, the Tesla Model 3. Uh, tires are original. This car is three years old at this point. Um, but what uh, what the video is about, what I, what I really want to show you are these jack stands that I bought. Jack point. Jack point, and it has this thing here. Uh, I bought those back in 2015 when we first got uh, our, our first Tesla, a Tesla Model S, and I didn't have a shop, so I didn't have a lift or anything like that. And I had no idea how to get that, um, I wanted to be able to take the wheel off the car. Uh, it's just something I do. And uh, this was what I came up with. Um, and then I never used them because I never had to take a wheel off of the Model S, not once, never happened. Um, in the eight years we had it. So, had two sets of tires put on it, somebody else did it, and, uh, and never had a, a, an incident otherwise where I had to put it up on jack stands. So, I've had these jack stands in my garage collecting dust for the last eight years. Um, and we're gonna give them a shot here and see how they do, uh, and see why we're getting some, uh, concerning just a very, very slow leak. Like, over the period of a week, it'll get down to, uh, to put the warning light on, but, you know, not flat or anything, just, just losing uh, uh, three or four pounds of, of pressure over a week. I thought maybe it was the, uh, the the Schrader valve. I tried just tightening the Schrader valve. It seems to still be leaking a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna take it off, squirt some soapy water on it, and see if we can find out where it's leaking from. Let's see if I can show you this. All right. So we've got this hole right here, right here. This little pad thing here fits nicely in there. Right here, see that? Okay, ha ha ha. Uh, car so low, I just had to, to get it up off the ground just a little bit using the front jack point so I could get that jack underneath of it and, uh, and have that little, that puck thing where it needs to be. actually pretty clever. Look at that. Jack Point. I am not sponsored by Jack Point, but that's pretty slick. Okay. Okay, so I'd say there's it's about maybe a little less than half of the brake life left in it. Just taking a look underneath here, never really seen under here uh, before. A little, little on the complicated side. All these boots look good. Still has a, <laughs> has a barcode on it. Man, this thing looks really clean. Still looks really good. Cool. I 
I mean, there's not a ton of tread life left on this tire. I would say that um, if I can't find an obvious leak on these things, I am going to suggest that we just get a new, get a new tire. Oh, 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 what is that? Nope, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Whoa, there it is, found it, found it, found it, right there. There it is. Boop. All right. All right. Let's, uh, you're gonna tell me it's too close to the freaking, all right. Here we go. I should really get me one of them pick em up trucks or or station wagon or something that's appropriate to carry stuff. Okay, Mr. Tire is not wanting to do the job. Uh, they say corporate standards, they're not allowed to. So, so, we're gonna go give Exxon a try. We have a patched tire. How the fuck to get out of here and get home? Let's see if I can get all the way over. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Two ringy dingies. Two ringy dingies. Actual click. Actual click. All right, repair complete. The whole point of this video was about these jack stands, jack point jack stands. Um, bought specifically for the Tesla. Uh, they have options for all kinds of other cars too. Uh, I, I really like it. Um, I think that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good investment. Uh, of note, when you're when you're dealing with these lower profile vehicles, uh, you're going to need some way to get it high enough to just get the the initial jack point. Get that thing. This is this is some some height that you're gonna have to deal with. And this is a really low profile jack, not to say that there aren't lower profile jacks than that, but even with the lowest profile jack that I've seen, probably couldn't get, couldn't get under there with that, uh, that little plate on there on the jack. So you have to have another jack in order to get the car up just enough uh, or drive it up on ramps or I don't know, something like that uh, to, to um, uh, planks maybe to put put some some two buys two by tens or something like that on under the under the wheels and drive on them um, That might get you high enough, but anyway, that's gonna do it for this very short episode of Model 3 wrench time. It's the first time I've ever worked on this model 3 first first time I've ever had to do anything to this car in like three years so um, but as you saw it's gonna need tires it's gonna need brakes. It's time so three years is about 
that's about how long you can go before you start needing to do some general maintenance on these EVs. Um, doesn't hurt to do annual like tire rotations and balancing and that kind of stuff if you're into that sort of thing, but uh, unnecessary. Uh, it will go just fine without it. Um, you're not really going to extend the life of these tires. EV tires are, uh, are contending with a lot more forces, uh, a lot of weight, a lot of torque. Um, so they tend to wear out a little bit faster than, uh, than your typical passenger car tire. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, all in all though, uh, about 40,000 miles on these tires, which is actually pretty darn good. That's a, that's a good run for a, a set of EV tires. So I, I can't really, can't really complain about that. Um, and 40,000 miles on, on original brakes. And the pads have about half life left in them, but uh, you know, it's one of those things when you're in there, it's easy to, to switch out the pads and uh, it's much better to do that before you start getting into uh, grinding down on the rotors. So um, anyway, that's it. See you next time. Over. Out.